I want to have a baby dedication this morning, something we're really excited about. We at Aletheia are so excited about our families. We're so excited about babies. We're so excited about all the things that God's doing uh, through our families. We're really excited that God gives us more babies. We're excited about all the babies that are being born, the babies that are going to be born soon. You'll be hearing more about uh, some potential babies that are going to be born uh, down the road. Um, this is like... You know, Groove used to say funny stuff. By the way, are we recording this? Good, good. Um, something about a baby dedication that makes you say really weird, odd things that don't really make a lot of sense. I'm not sure what that is, but it just happens. It happened to Groove, I think, almost every time, didn't it? So, okay. So I get a pass there. I get a pass. We got four babies. We got some families we want to pray over this morning and talk about and be excited about. But we're excited that God would allow us to serve these families, to serve these babies. We're excited that God is going to allow us to invest in these babies as a group of pastors, as a group of elders, as a group of overseers. Um, we have great space or we have great servants here. See, I can't even, I can't even get the, the words out of my mouth. We have great servants here, but the reality is the more God blesses us, the more God gives us babies, the more space we run out of. Space is limited. If you uh, take your children downstairs or you take them out back, you understand that it's kind of crowded there sometimes. So if you want to pray with us when you're praying for these families, when you're praying for these babies, pray that God would give us more space so that we can serve our city better. Before these babies get out of hand back there, I don't know which one it is. Well, let's get them up on stage really quick, and I guess we're going to call them up as I call you guys' names. Come on up here. And by the way, if you're our family that drove in today, or you're out here visiting for this, when you're uh, loved ones come out. Would you please stand so we can kind of recognize you and thank you and give you a hand for coming out this morning. Let's get James, Evelyn, James, and, and who do you got down there, James? Bring him up, buddy. James and Evelyn have little Josiah. He's having a, about his birthday, right? Yeah. yeah, tomorrow's his birthday. You guys want to come on down this side? I can't ever get this little guy to smile at me. I'm not sure why. Um, there he is. He might smile. But, but James and Evelyn have been around for a little while. I got to meet James and, and Evelyn when I first came in town. He's one of our local businessmen. Uh, really, um, God has really radically changed his life over the past couple of years, I would say, and given him an amazing wife. And they serve together, not just here. They serve our community together as they operate a local business. And we're really excited that God has, has given them the opportunity to be parents and to invest um, in this little guy. I might get a smile there out of him. Um, let's get Dave and Monica to come up next with, with their little guy, Vaughn. We got two, two little guys and two little girls this morning. This is Dave and Monica. Oh, look at this little guy. I can get him to smile at me sometimes. Do we have families that have come in and, and visited? Can we get you guys to stand up? Come on, it's not that bad. There we go. We got some families. Give these guys a hand. Yeah. So this is, this is little Vaughn. And we like to pray with these guys. Dave and Monica are actually kind of new in town. They came in kind of late summer. I guess you guys moved in um, about July, right? Is that right? And so they came out to August. They came out to Aletheia. And uh, they actually serve at JMU. So they serve our JMU students. Um, Dave's in the music department. So they serve our JMU students here in our city. We are so excited that they have made Aletheia their home. That's right. Um, and that they are serving our students. They're getting settled in in the community here, and they're from up north. And so um, if you guys are looking for somebody to hang out with, somebody to pray for, it's these guys here. They're really amazing people, really amazing servants. We're excited that God brought them out here with us. Then we have two little, um, two little girls. The first one we're going to bring out is Leah, and I think Amy's here today. If we can bring out Leah, Amy. There she is. Isn't she adorable? Look at her all dressed up. You can come stand over here. And I had an opportunity to meet these guys not too long after I started coming here. And uh, I, can't, I can't get her little sister or her older sister to smile at me either. But she'll smile at me all the time. She's adorable. We are so excited that you guys are here and serving God and so excited about what God's doing in your life. Look at Josiah over there. He's going to laugh now because he knows I'm getting ready to say something weird. Um, and then last but not least, our missionaries to Mexico. We're going to get Mark and Abby Huffman to come up with baby Rachel um, up here. And I know we've got some family for these guys. There we are. Thank you guys for coming out. So thank you guys for coming out and coming out and visiting. We wanted to recognize you guys, and thank you all. We understand this is a very important day, and there's baby Rachel chewing on a pen. Um, he said they were good pens, so no need to worry. Um, so that's good. But we just we want to thank you guys. We want to thank you guys for giving us as a church the opportunity to invest not just in you guys but in the lives of your, of your little ones, and thank you for, for doing that. And We understand that God has sovereignly just in his gracious uh, like purpose, um, has allowed these children to be born into your homes and has given you these children, and we hope he gives you more children. 
um, if that's your desire. And we understand that children are a blessing from God. We read this in the Old Testament. We understand that it is our responsibility. Because God is sovereign, he has done this. And because he gives us this great blessing, we also have a great, great responsibility to train these children up and to raise them well and to disciple them well. But we also understand with all of these things comes a great, great promise. Over in Proverbs chapter 22, um, Solomon writes to us and tells us that if we train these children up in the way that they should go, when they're old, they will not depart from it. And this is a promise from God. And if you read there that entire proverb, that entire first paragraph, what you see there is this idea that principle comes before practice. You see there that we lay the foundation, and the things that come afterward are a result of the foundation that have been laid, if you read in that proverb. And so that's the very same way with parenting. This foundation starts very early, and as you guys know, it's a challenge. It's not easy, but it's a lot of fun. The challenges present a lot of fun things. And so what we want to do is we want to help you guys. We want to pray for you guys this morning. Pastor Matt's got a little gift for you. We'll pass these out. We have a certificate. That, that, uh, let me grab these from you. Who we have here? Baby Ray. There you go. And we have the Jesus Storybook Bible. We're giving these little guys. And what we want, this is a really important gift because in this Jesus Storybook Bible, what you can do is read through all of these stories of the Bible that we heard growing up. But what it does is it helps you understand how these things relate to Jesus and the work that Jesus did when he was here on this earth. So this is very important. If you don't have one of these, I would suggest that you get one. Even if you don't have any children, I would suggest that you get one. What we're going to do now is allow Pastor Matt, if he wants to, if he would, be so gracious as to pray for these babies, pray for these parents. And if you all um, are going to commit to praying for these parents and to our future parents, give these guys a hand. I'm going to warn you that at the age that they are, they are much more likely at this point to eat the book than to pray it, uh, pray over it or, or read it. Uh, I'm confident that you will read it to them and that you will prevent them from eating it and getting a stomach ache. You can read in Revelation how the Apostle John tried that. He ate the book and he just had a stomach ache. Not good. Read it to them. They'll love it. You'll, you'll do a great job. Let's pray for these four. What's up? That other weird thing that you said it, I said it, Dave said it, now you just said something. So. It's true. Read it. Revelation. Like 17, 18, somewhere in there. All right. Let's pray. Father, we, we're grateful today for all of the, the many amazing blessings that, that you bestow upon us. And we're grateful for the blessing of the ecclesia, of the church, which you've established and created so that we could help one another, do your work, expand your kingdom and have community and be part of one another's lives and assist one another, Father, in, in the great things that, that you've called us to and the responsibilities that you've given us. We know, Father, that, that one of those responsibilities that we, we assist one another with is, is in praying for one another and in, in, in helping one another, like w with our families sometimes even. And we're grateful for the, for the children that you've committed to the parents in this local assembly. We're grateful for the opportunities that we have to invest in these parents and to invest in these children. And we're conscious of the, of the great responsibility that, uh, that you've placed upon the parents to whom you've given these children. The responsibility to, uh, to make a disciple, Father, just as we all make disciples, but to have the, like, the most time of any disciple that we could make, to have the most influence, the most... Uh, instruction, the most discipline sometimes, Father, the most correction, uh, and, and the most opportunity to shape a little life, a little soul. And we know that uh, in discharging these really, really like tremendous responsibilities that the, the prayers of the entire local church are needed to help these parents, and that with this great responsibility, there comes also great opportunity, which is why you, you compare uh, children to, to arrows in a quiver, because if, if they're crafted right, if they're guided and disciplined and brought up right, they can be shot out, Father, later in life, and they can go and they can do amazing things for the expansion of your kingdom. We're excited about the future. We're grateful for the opportunity. We want to pray for each of these four uh, little kids, Father. We ask for, for Josiah and for Vaughn and uh, ironically for Rachel and Leah, who are being dedicated together today. We ask that you would uh, be with each of these four little lives, be with each of the parents of these four little lives, Father, so that they would know how to make difficult decisions sometimes, that they would know how to guide, how to instruct, how to correct, 
that they would know how to balance all of their responsibilities to their to their children and and to their church that you would sovereignly like uh, draw these children to yourself that they would become your your children as well as the children of these parents on the stage at a very early age at the earliest age maybe even when, in which they could understand your plan of of salvation through repentance and through faith that that would be explained to these four that they would get it that they would they would uh, grow that they would become valuable, valuable servants for the expansion of your kingdom, that they would learn all the things that there are to learn about you, about your loving kindness, about your greatness, about your plan for our lives, about valuing others and esteeming them, about servanthood, that you would give these parents the ability to model all of those attributes, that you would give them the ability to, uh, to be parents to these, these four little, little lives, just as you're our father. And, and you, you help us and love us, Father, and, and, and correct us and guide us. And I pray, Father, that you would enable this local faith community, that this, this local assembly, this ecclesia, would be able to do everything that possible to support these parents as they take on those responsibilities and as they discharge them, that you would enable us also to help and, and guide and invest in the, in the lives of these four little kids and that great things would come from the great things that we know you're going to do. We have confidence in you, Father. We have confidence in the future. We have confidence that your plan will be accomplished, and we pray that we we would do our part, that we would be diligent, Father, and that we would do the things that that you expect us to do and and desire for us to do, and that that these four who are on the stage today together would would be the most amazing servants, the most amazing uh, Christians, that they would be the most amazing expanders of your kingdom and that that, that we would all be able to rejoice together about all of that. We love you, Father. We ask these things in your son's name. Amen.